What is up guys? It is Styx here and today I'm going to be going over this week's Ascendant Challenge. Now, before we get into the video, feel free to subscribe. I post these videos once a week and other videos occasionally. Now, starting off before we actually get into the Ascendant Challenge itself, I'm going to be showing you guys where Petra is for this week due to her location being pretty integral to whether you're in the correct load zone for the Dreaming City. So first of all, you start off in the Dvalian Mists, and then you are just going to want to spare off into the Strand. You can ignore mobs, etc. while you're doing this. And even mark her on your map. Once you reach this sort of temple, you're going to want to get off and then you can grab your Ascendant Challenge Bounty and then your Tinctures of Queen's Foil if you need them. Now heading back to the Dvalian Mists. Once you spawn in, go ahead and get right back on your Sparrow, and we are going to be heading into the Strand yet again. This time, our location will be gar the Gardens of Asilla, which I don't believe is marked on your map, so you can definitely feel free to follow along here. But if you already know where it is, go ahead and just go there and skip to when you see me going into the portal. These ads up here are usually pretty annoying. You can hop off your Sparrow here. You can also just stay on it because I'm pretty sure you can bring it up the entire way. You wanna hang it right here. And then just go up this walkway. Now that you've entered the Gardens of Asilla, feel free to find a place to stop by and then use your Tincture of Queen's Foil so you can see the portal. And then you can just run past all of the ads that are in here. If you bring your Sparrow in here, you can Sparrow past them. But realistically, they're just a bunch of normal ads, so it's not much of an issue. All right, once you get in, you're gonna see three dots on your screen. They're like mission markers. These are little balls that you have to grab and then deposit in the very center part of this area where you spawn in. You have to do this while avoiding or destroying blights that get in your way because they'll stop you from moving around. You're also being chased by a bunch of hive knights and uh, shadow thrall. My recommendation for this is just to grab balls and then run. I ignore all of the blights. If you have anything that'll get you vertical lift, like a hunter or a titan with a high lift, you can just jump up in the air and then spam left click with the ball in your hand and you'll get a little bit of distance. In reality though, it's a pretty slow challenge. Not a whole lot going on. It's very easy as well. Uh, if you do, for some reason, end up having trouble surviving, you can use things like Invis or like uh, Titan Overshields, like ACD Feedback Pen, stuff like that, just so that you can get through if you're having trouble. Definitely ignore guys like that.
You're just going to want to walk past these guys. They don't do a lot of actual damage. It's more knockback. So as long as you can get past them, you should be good. Alrighty. Once you put in the third and final orb, there's going to be a well of light in the middle that gives you a buff called Boundless Light. This will regen all your abilities really, really quickly. And then your final task is to kill all of these knights. Now, one of my favorite things to do here is to kind of just let everything hit me and then let the knights come in close. And once they do, I jump up and use Curus of the Falling Star to Thunder Crash in the middle and kill everything at once. Of course, that opens the chest for you, so feel free to grab it. And then we will move on into the eggs for this challenge. First of all, if you see where I'm standing here, you're going to want to follow me from here up this little cliff, and then you will see that egg down there. Do note, this is slightly old footage of this part due to me not having the eggs shown on my current game. Once you have finished with that egg, follow me down this bridge. You can completely avoid the blight. And then you will see the egg right over there. Once again, use the Wish Ender Exotic Bow in order to break these eggs. If you do not own this bow, it drops from the Shattered Throne. There is a quest. Once you complete the quest, you will get the bow. Now that is both of the eggs for this challenge. The last thing needed, I believe, is a lore piece from the bones. From the portal right here, you will make your way back up to where you shot the first egg from, and you'll continue past that. You're essentially going to want to follow this path that I'm going on. Cross this bridge. And then you will see a series of like floating rocks at the end of this final bridge here. <clears throat> Go ahead and jump onto it. And then you're gonna wanna try and get down to that sort of shining light down there that you see on my screen. You will see it on your screen as well if you haven't picked the bones up yet on that character. Once you've grabbed them, that's that. And then you can go on ahead and just leave the challenge. Now, of course, I highly recommend doing the bones last. But if you do them first by for some reason and don't want to redo the challenge, you can sort of climb up the side of the cliff. Though it will take you a pretty long time to do. You can just follow where I'm going here. Of course, I thunder crashed the last stretch, but can you blame me? But either way, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to like, comment, etc. And thanks for watching.